it's not easy being a biologist, especially during the infancy of the science. Back in the day, biologists literally scour the world to find new specimens of animals to study and describe. Most of the time, they need more than one specimen of each species to fully get to know them. But sometimes nature isn't so giving. In today's list, I'll introduce you to some animals that we only know of because of just one example. Here are 10 animals that exist in one specimen only. Number 10. The Nechasar Nightjar. We start things off with something really special. Because this bird isn't even known for having one specimen, all we have of the existence of this bird is a solitary wing. And was it found while exploring uncharted regions of the Earth? Nope. It was quite literally roadkill. Found by the side of a road, probably hit by a car. Ah, science is just amazing. The wing was taken from the decomposing body and brought to the Natural History Museum in London. Judging by the size of the wing, the unlucky bird could either have been a female or a juvenile male. The bird is believed to be endemic to the Nechasar Plains in Ethiopia where it was found. The national park the plains are situated in are no longer protected the way they were in the 1980s and early 1990s, and illegal settlers in the area actually caused a fire that resulted in severe damage to the habitat in 1998. This makes finding a live specimen of the bird highly unlikely. However, just recently, a very similar looking bird was reported to be seen in the area. Many think that it could be the elusive Nechasar Nightjar, despite the fact that the only evidence of its existence so far is a single wing and a bunch of blurry photos. Number 9. The Golden Mole. There are actually 21 species of Golden Mole, all of which are extremely rare and are highly endangered. However, we're only going to focus on two of them, one of which has only been seen once, and the other, well, let's just say for now that the only specimen of this species was found in vomit. Literally. Ah, don't you just love science? First, we have Visagi's Golden Mole. Only one specimen was found of this species back in 1950 in an estate in Guana, South Africa. Many explorations in the area have since been done, but no other specimens of it was found. Next, we have the Somali Golden Mole. Now, when I said earlier that this specimen was found in vomit, I really wasn't joking. The only remains found of this animal was a partial skeleton found in an owl pellet in 1964. For those of you who don't know, owl pellets are undigested food that owls vomit out periodically. Mmm, appetizing. Since not another one of both species has been found in decades, both are now thought to be extinct. Number 8. The Delcorch Giant Gecko At two feet long, the Delcorch Giant Gecko is recognized as the world's largest gecko, despite the fact that the only proof of its existence is one incomplete taxidermy mount. It was first recognized as a new species in 1986 and was named after a herpetologist at the Marseille Museum of Natural History, where it was on public display. It actually was in the possession of the museum for almost a century before the said herpetologist, Elaine Delcourt, took serious interest in the specimen. Scientists agreed its point of origin was Pacific. As the mount was in a French museum, New Caledonia was first suggested as the gecko's habitat. However, its resemblance to the brown forest gecko makes New Zealand a more likely country of origin. The giant gecko bears a remarkable resemblance to the kawaikawu of Maori folklore, which was said to be about two feet long, as thick as a man's wrist, and a rusty brown color. According to local folklore, these giant reptiles were said to be omens of death. Number 7. The New Ireland Stingery It's kind of funny that this next animal on our list actually has more names than the number of its known specimens. The New Ireland Stingery, also known as the Black Spotted Stingery, is known to science only from a juvenile male found in the Bismarck Archipelago of New Ireland, Papua New Guinea, during an expedition between 1822 to 1825. The creature was taken to a museum in Paris, but was only fully described in 1841. For almost two centuries now, scientists have requested any further specimens caught should be donated to museums, but none have yet to turn up. It is not known if the fish is extinct or if its habitat requirements are within a very narrow geographic range. If it is extinct, it is not through overfishing, as there is little fishing activity in its locality. However, oil and gold exploration in the general vicinity could be a potential threat to the wildlife of the area. Number 6. Lugihormetica lacay. 
Although this cockroach was referred to as one of the top new discoveries of 2012, it was actually studied and formally described using a single specimen collected in 1939. The cockroach is rare among land animals in being luminescent, meaning it glows. Rarer still, this bioluminescence is not used to communicate or attract a mate as it is with fireflies. This is actually to mimic the toxic click beetle to avoid being eaten. Sadly, it seems this particular cockroach did not share the renowned hardiness of their other cockroach cousins. The part of Ecuador where the cockroach was found was destroyed by the Tunguajara volcano in 2010. This, combined with the ever-growing urbanization of the area, means scientists fear the cockroach is already extinct. So, unless other specimens are found accidentally, the strangely beautiful insect will be truly one of a kind. Number 5. Sir David's Long-Beaked Echidna Unlike many of the other animals on this list, scientists are hoping that this animal still survives and rather than being listed as extinct, it is considered critically endangered. It is named after well-known British naturalist Sir David Attenborough and known only from a single, slightly damaged specimen. This was found in 1961 in the Cyclops Mountains of Papua New Guinea by Dutch explorers. The creature now resides in Leiden Natural History Museum in the Netherlands. It is the smallest breed of echidna, all of which are threatened species, and is believed to be endemic to one mountain peak in the area. In 2007, researchers discovered fresh tracks and feeding holes, or nose pokes, made by the creature. Local hunters also state that they have seen, and most likely eaten, the animal as recently as 2005. Number 4. The Mock Starling when naturalist Andrew Bloxham shot a kingfisher, a pigeon, and starling on a short visit to Mauk in the Cook Islands in 1825, he probably didn't realize the enduring mystery the starling would cause. The skin of this specimen, which is kept at the Natural History Museum in London, was labeled 12.192 and informally referred to as the mysterious starling. For a long time, no one knew the bird's history. That is, until in 1986, Storrs Olson, an American ornithologist at the Smithsonian, gained access to Bloxham's original diary. He noted that Bloxham's descriptions and measurements matched the surprisingly well-preserved specimen and the pieces of the puzzle were finally put together. Today, the Mock Starling is recognized as a distinct, valid species. Ornithologists did not visit Mock again until the 1970s, and there were no further sightings of any bird matching the Starling's description. It is considered extinct, thought to be caused by predation by introduced rats, which were common on the islands even in Bloxham's day. A word about the pigeon and the kingfisher, though. Number 3. The Lady Gaga Braconid This tiny insect hit the headlines in 2012 and, like its namesake, proved controversial. No, it didn't wear a meat dress or anything crazy like that. It created a buzz due to the means used to identify it. This method is called turbo taxonomics, which is a type of DNA barcoding which provides speedy identification for newly discovered species. Previously, formally describing species could take decades, but this new method, which uses a short DNA sequence from the genome, streamlines the process. Of course, like any new technology, the process has its supporters and distractors. But enough about that, let's focus on the insect. How that relates to Lady Gaga… I, I actually really don't know, but the pop star seems to have no qualms about the naming. In any case, this is not the first time the Mama Monster's name was given to a new species. In fact, also in 2012, 19 species of fern were also named after the pop star. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today's pick features the largest snake to have ever slithered on the Earth, the incomparable Titanoboa. Now, we know very little of this amazing snake, but is the reason behind that the fact that we have only unearthed a single specimen of it? Number 2. The Titanoboa 60 million years ago, in the swampy waters of what is now Colombia, there lurked the Titanoboa, by far the biggest snake that ever lived. At nearly 50 feet long and weighing in at 2,500 pounds, it was 10 times as heavy as the average green anaconda, a giant that now rules Titanoboa's stomping grounds or slithering grounds in this case. Titanoboa was so big that it pushed the boundaries of being able to exist on land and remain in accordance with the laws of physics. You, me, every cat and antelope, and every other creature that inhabits the Earth, we've all evolved under the constraints of gravity. Evolution did get a bit carried away and produce the 100-foot blue whale, the biggest critter ever, only because gravity doesn't actually affect giants as much in the sea. 
That very reasoning made scientists think that the Titanoboa may have spent a majority of its time in water. Did scientists gather that much information just from one fossilized remains? If so, that is quite a lot. But the fact is, we have many specimens of this giant snake. Around 30, give or take. But then again, did you know that all fossils of the Titanoboa ever found was incomplete? In fact, paleontologists are yet to find an actual skull of the snake. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Liverpool Pigeon Also known as the Spotted Green Pigeon, the bird's small wings suggest it lived on a small island with few natural predators and its green color suggests it was a forest dweller, far removed from the city which was its namesake. In fact, scientists think that this single specimen came from Tahiti, which was a popular destination for collectors at the time. Debate is still ongoing as to whether the pigeon is the mysterious Titi, described by Tahitans as a green and white spotted bird. The pigeon's history once reaching England is better known. The 13th Earl of Derby purchased the bird from a Major Davies, and it formed a part of his massive collection at Knowsley Hall in Merseyside. The collection also included the holotype of the night parrot and one of the only two known species of the New Caledonian nightjar, as well as many living animals and birds. When the Earl died in 1851, his collection was given to Liverpool, and it became the foundation of the World Museum in that city. Do you think any of these animals still exist in the wild? Let us know in the comment section down below! Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!